Hello and welcome back to Carmston Farm. We are just pulling up at field 21. I say we because the fence should be behind us. Yep, there we go. So we can now um, start the lime spreading. So we're going to lime spread on field 21. Let's just have a look at field so yeah pH is awful so we're gonna lime it and then that will bring up the uh, pH value and also the environmental score so that's all good let's just have a look at the minute so we're at 52 and we'll see uh, what we end up with at the end of uh, doing the liming into the second hopper load already the, uh, the handy thing about this field is right near the garden centre where there is a lime fill point, buy point, so we can top up the Perard auger wagon. I think we've only about got 10,000 litres in there, I think there is. So, no problem at all. We can just top it up in there and uh, get this lime applied to the field so if we look now wonder what that's done to the score already nothing as yet <laughs> but i think if you look ph value yeah it's creeping up so once we've done it'll be a perfect ph value not sure what we're going to do then we'll take a look at uh, the prices of Props and products that we've got, see if there's anything that we can sell. But uh, we may be on to uh, skipping months, I think, possibly. Right, the uh, lime auger is empty. So we need to head round to that little silo there on the left of the screen. See how much it cost us for, I think this holds 30 something thousand litres but let's have a quick look probably should have come in the other side will we get underneath it hopefully if not we'll be going down to the store yeah we're good so start filling is R there we go looks like it's going to be a reasonably slow fill process last 6% now and it's going to cost us about 10 grand, I reckon. Oh, no, not that even much. 6,199 for 34,000 litres. So, not really humble about that. So, we'll get back out of here and uh, back to the field. Right, well, finally got a headland done. I uh, lost track of how many loads it actually took. Just trying to make sure we capture every little bit. There we go. So I think what we need to do is just get this done and uh, then hopefully we can decide on what crop to put in and look at the window to see if uh, we can actually start planting. Last bit of the field now and um, we have used everything out of the auger wagon. So we've used 30 whatever thousand probably about 40 45 thousand liters of lime on this field which is mad when you actually think about it so let's just wait here a second and jump back into the precision farming menu so that's all bang on now for ph of field 21 score is pH value, so that's that one. So it's only probably hasn't registered yet, but we have covered everything, so that's good. Now, crop wise, planting season ends today for linseed, grass, oats, barley, or wheat. Now, I think we'll go for barley in here, so we will. Get these back to the yard, I'll refill the auger and uh, yeah, get the planter attached and crack on. Okay, so build up the cedar, 
both with seeds and fertilizer so we've got GPS set we've got everything on automatic application so we should be able to lower down and uh, make start getting the barley in the ground there we go everything seems to be working as it should maybe slightly close to the uh, headland on this side but wanting to get a straight line to start with so we're applying the nitrogen as we go and uh, yeah see how far we get through before we need to refill well we're going all right the uh, usage of seed and fertilizer isn't too shabby probably need to fill up with fertilizer I would imagine but uh, we've got plenty we bought a load before and uh, stored that away in the grain silo so yeah we're uh, plodding on our trees again doing my head in but it seems to be hit and miss I don't change anything between episodes sometimes I'll be fine others they'll be like today and having a bit of a flicker so who knows but uh, yeah I think we'll um, do a bit more probably on a time lapse and uh, catch up in a little while Well, we're probably about halfway through the field I reckon 35% left of fertilizer so it's I reckon it's using about 10% per pass which I suppose isn't reasonable it's putting a fair amount on if you look at the top left 180 kilograms per hectare so yeah it's uh, piling it into the ground so I think what we'll do is we'll do this pass, go back up, and then grow, go and grab some more fertilizer. Right then, just uh, grabbing a couple more bags of fertilizer out of the grain silo shed. I'll get these onto the trailer, and then we can uh, take this lot back up to the yard, uh, the yard, the field even, and uh, carry on with the seeding. Right, well, the fertilizer's going in. <laughs> this boom is not quite long enough. But for, we might be able to actually just swing that a little bit further round so it'll go in. Go on. It's the back hopper, isn't it? We'll uh, reposition ourselves. This is the fun of trying to do it re reasonably... Uh, Properly, I suppose the word is. Um, but yeah, we're uh, 
think we're all right for seed, really, but whatever's in this bag won't hurt if it'll go in. No, a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Finally got it unloaded for <laughs> what it was worth. So uh, we'll move the trailer and the telehandler out of the way and uh, carry on with the seeding. We're plodding on. But like uh, most builds on this map, it's deceivingly large. Um, it's going at a reasonable pace. Nine mile an hour isn't shabby. Um, but yeah, when you look at the mini map, you can see it's... Uh, we still got a fair old bit to go, probably about a third of the field, I guess. Maybe slightly more. Um, so, yeah, definitely, I think we're probably going to have to fill up again with fertiliser, definitely, and possibly some more seed. different tactic this time bolted the uh, cedar up so we can uh, get a bit closer so that's the seed gone in just need the fertilizer now there we go that works a lot better <laughs> noted for next time so we'll get this topped up and we can uh, finish off this field on to the last bit of the headland now and then we are done we can then get this lot back to the yard and bring out the rollers get this rolled and then it's done for well probably a month or so before we need to weed it but then we can leave it just to grow over the winter and uh, yeah leave it till harvest so before we attach the uh, rollers to the fence, I think we probably need to just check on the repair status of it. Yeah, again, it gets absolutely hammered. 14, nearly 15 grand. It's um, it's not the best. I mean, only repairing the weight because a bit of OCD when it comes to that repair bar on the tractor. So that repaired we'll uh, go and uh, attach the rollers and make a start getting that field 21 rolled well I do like this field it has got hardly any trees in the way around the headland it's got a nice border around it so there's less for me to hit <laughs> which is always good so we're about what halfway around the headland now it's a slow process but it uh, gives us a little bit more yield. Um, I think, as we've done on the cornfields in the past, and uh, I don't think we rolled the sunflower field e either. Anything that we do with the planter, the header and of the combine is off the ground. I don't think we're going to bother rolling. 
it's just where we've either got stones that need to be knocked in or whether we've got a, a combinable crop where the header runs along the ground I think uh, that's going to be our way of doing things so I'll get round the headland and I will see you on the up and down rows well we're just plodding on again it's uh yeah it's just a nice steady job rolling the seeds into the ground and yeah making a nice uh compacted bed for them to get the uh what do they call it so seed seed to soil contact so i think what we're going to do is crack on through this and uh, probably uh, stick on a bit of a time lapse Well, we're on the probably the last pass now um, there's going to be some little bits to tidy up on the headland but uh, no biggie at all so I think what we'll do is we'll get to the end of this pass and uh, come back down do this little triangle here and then go and uh, get the bits on the headland last few minuscule little bits on the headlands but uh, worth getting. So we've got that one done. And then there's another tiny little bit down here. That we'll just catch there. You can just see it here. It's the tiniest of bits. And it's probably giving us an extra litre of barley. But it helps with my OCD. So we can fold this up and pull off the field and uh, get it back down to the yard I think then what we're going to do is hook up to the trailer and uh, get the remainder of the linseed sold because the price is still really good for that and uh, top our cash back up first load tipping into the sell point now waited a few hours in game just to see if the price went up any and I think it did by about a pound so I think that's as good as we're gonna get but still that's gonna be a hearty little income so we are 20 30 31k for that first load so you know the uh, you know the process by now I'll go back fill it up and I'll uh, see you back at the sell point the load selling away now and I was just pondering whether we should look at getting a grain trailer for the truck could be a decent addition if we're looking to sell stuff in bulk like we are now but yeah this got to be something that's equal to this capacity 42,000 litres so again another 31k off that to 163,000 so I'll just nip off pick up the remainder of the linseed and I will see you 
back down here. Right, last 18,000 litres of our linseed going in. Gone in. Another 12, 13,000 into the bank, which is spot on. So I think last job of today is going to be uh, soil sampling that little patch between fields 20 and 22. And then uh, sort of done and can forget about that until we come to uh, plant or seed into it. All right, first sample. Now, I think this will work. <laughs> I am not a hundred percent, but because we can see from the soil type map in the bottom left that we know what the type is. Okay, yeah, it's going to work. It's going to refresh this area. So we can head along this sort of seam here, take a few more samples, and then uh, send them off for analysis. Okay, samples sent off. So in a minute, we should see some updated data coming in. There we go. So you can see there the pH is not very good in those little areas so may drag the lime spreader out at some point but uh, it's got rid of the outdated data element on the nitrogen screen so that's all good so we've got now okay cool so our overall score still sits at 85 that will go up once uh, field 21 sorts itself out but i think uh for today and this episode that is it next time we will be into december and it'll be time to sell eggs butter cheese anything else that's a perishable as we said before but uh, that is to come so thank you very very much for watching hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have leave a like if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and i will see you on the next one Take care.